The DAYL Foundation is proud to celebrate its 30th anniversary. Since 1999, when the DAYL Foundation became a granting body, it has provided over $200,000 in grants to local nonprofits to promote legal related programs and services. In 2017, the DAYL Foundation provided $28,000 in grants to 20 nonprofits in the Dallas area. For the past four years, the DAYL Foundation has partnered with GEM, Girls Embracing Mothers, a nonprofit started by DAYL Foundation fellow Brittany Bird Barnett. As part of GEM, the Pearl Program aims to reduce trauma suffered by girls as a result of maternal incarceration. This year, GEM used the DAYL Foundation's grant to fund transportation to make the four and a half hour round trip from Dallas to women's prisons in Gatesville for enhanced visitation sessions between the mothers and daughters. The DAYL Foundation also supports both CASA of Collin County and Dallas CASA. For the last two years, the DAYL Foundation has provided a grant to CASA of Collin County to send a caseworker to the National Association of Drug Court Professionals Conference to learn about new and specific treatment interventions that they can use in the Family Preservation Drug Court in Collin County, a court designed to protect the safety and welfare of children while giving parents the tools they need to become sober and responsible caregivers. Every year, more than 20,000 Dallas County children are reported abused or neglected. Some of them must be removed from their homes because it isn't safe for them to remain. In 2017, DAYL provided a grant to Dallas CASA to help fund fingerprint and background checks for their volunteers. Last year, more than 1,300 volunteers served more than 3,100 children annually in Dallas County. Jane's due process ensures legal representation for pregnant minors in Texas, for the minor who wishes to apply for a judicial bypass, and for the minor who seeks to continue a pregnancy but experiences teen dating violence, family violence, or parental pressure to terminate resulting in the need for a protective order. 2017 marked the launch of Jane's Due Process Confidential Text Hotline, and with the help of a DAYL Foundation agent, Jane's Due Process sent 1,421 texts to young people who needed support or information. Jane's Due Process also expanded their educational outreach through social media, reaching out to 150,000 young women via Instagram and over 1,000 people via Snapchat. Last year, the DAYL Foundation provided a grant to the YMCA of Metropolitan Dallas to provide scholarships for middle and high school students to attend the state youth and government conferences in Austin. The grant enabled 16 Dallas students to attend the multi-day conferences, where students took part in mock legislative, judicial, and executive programs. Students who attended the conferences not only showed a 12% increase in interest in pursuing law or public policy, but also showed a 30% increase in feeling the confidence to use their skills to make their communities better, and a 33% increase in interest to get involved with issues that impact their communities. When asked about their experience, students said, I loved getting to speak my mind and really make a difference in the political future of the great state of Texas. And my favorite thing about YG was being able to express my idea and having my voice heard. The DAYL Foundation also provided a grant to the Legacy Family Court Foundation, which provides advocacy and funding for the Legacy Family Specialty Court in Dallas County. The Legacy Family Court Foundation was created by a dedicated group of Dallas area judges and lawyers to develop the non-adversarial program to support parents with substance abuse issues and reunify them with their children who have been removed as a result of their parents' addiction issues. The DAYL Foundation supported the 2017-18 debate and mock trial teams of the Irma Rangel Young Women's Leadership School, the first all-girls public school in Texas. For the past several years, the debate and mock trial teams have only been able to enter one competition per year. This last year, due to the DAYL Foundation grant, the debate team was able to attend four tournaments. 
Ultimately, one of the teams advanced to the national tournament after beating St. Mark's in the finals of the district tournament in February. The debate coach stated that the team's success was a direct result of the DAYL Foundation's grant, which allowed the teams to hone their skills by taking part in multiple tournaments throughout the school year. The DAYL Foundation also provided funding to the Texas Muslim Women's Foundation. TMWF provides legal services for the underserved population of Muslim victims of domestic violence. It also provides critical legal help to clients who often have limited English proficiency, often do not drive, are facing immigration issues, and may have no connections to the family finances because they have been oppressed by their abusers. The DAYL Foundation grant help provide funding for translation services and other court costs related to these cases. The DAYL Foundation is proud to partner with such incredible organizations who are on the front lines of enhancing the legal profession and providing critical legal services to those in our community who need it the most. Congratulations to the DAYL Foundation for an amazing 30 years.